welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I have been gone for a while. I haven't posted in a while. So sorry if you have not um, heard from me in a while. I've been in a big emotional depression rut lately and um, when I'm in one of those moods I just have no I have no creativity. I have. I just. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to um, make anything. I don't want to. I just. I don't have a creative mind. My mind is basically like, get through the day. You got this. Like, get going. And the thing about my depression is that I know that I'm in it. I'm. I'm aware of when I'm in these um, moods now or ruts but I also can't get myself out of it, but I know I'm in it. So, um, I, I try to like be okay, but at the same time it's like, I'm, I'm not. And so yeah, but anyways, today I wanted to give you, um, my top five tips for helping yourself when you are depressed, when you just don't want to do anything, you have no, um, motivation you have no uh, creativity you don't want to do anything you don't, you don't want to go to the gym or just going waking up is hard getting to sleep because once you're sleeping you can't shut your brain off um, so I just want to give my five tips which may not put everybody but my five tips for um, getting trying to get out of a rut number one is if you do are if you are prescribed meds take them um, I know sometimes uh, it'll be like they're not even helping. I'm not taking them, but take them um, and be religious about it. Don't skip days. Take your meds. Um, if you're not prescribed meds, which is fine, also, um, and if you if you are prescribed meds, it's fine. If you're not, also fine. Not prescribed meds. Um, make sure that you are, you know, talking to somebody and you're aware of your situation. Tip number two is to talk to somebody. Um, if you can't talk to somebody, if you don't have any single person you can talk to, um, journal, write it down in your journal, talk out loud to yourself, um, film yourself talking and you don't have to show anybody. Um, just say it out loud what you're feeling and then um, either A, get advice from the people if you are talking to them, um, B, reread your journal, reread what you're writing or C, if you video um, yourself talking, rewatch it because sometimes listening to yourself talk about your issues sometimes you can pretend it's somebody else and you can give advice like give help like hey if you're feeling this way do this so that is my tip number two tip number three is to take time to do something for yourself at least once a day or take time to do something positive so whether that is taking a bath um, reading a book um, doing something physical like in the gym um, doing something that's positive or has a positive impact um, making somebody's day do one thing for yourself every day to try to get yourself into a better mood um, and to try and realize um, what's going on and to try to I feel like if you honestly do one thing for yourself every day, um, you know, as long as it's not hurting other people, um, that should be something everybody is doing because life is too short and life is too short and especially when you're depressed or you have anxiety or anything like that, it is very hard to get out of ruts when you get in them and sometimes you don't even know you're in them until you're starting to get out which is why I think that taking time to do something for yourself is a great thing because um, you, I feel like if you're constantly doing something for other people, if you're constantly working, if you're constantly doing something, you're not, you're not proactively helping yourself and that's something that needs to be done. You need to take care of yourself. Yourself is more important than anything and I'm, I'm so for pro love and self love right now and taking care of yourself and finding different ways and outlets to do that. So, um, like I said, take a day to do something for yourself um, and do more than one thing. If it takes more than one thing, do one thing. If you have a day off, do a bunch of things. Write down anything you want to do and do it. 
tip number four is to get outside. And um, listen to me when I say this. I have never been an outdoorsy person. Um, I mean, like, I love camping, things like that, but I've never, like, been hiking or kayaking or um, never did anything like that, really. And um, I just started, and I it has helped m me with my depression and anxiety so, so much. Um, going hiking and being away from noises and sound and you're like hearing birds and nature and whatever um, it's it opens up your mind and it just makes you feel like y there's there's more out there that there's something out there for you um, and I just started kayaking I went kayaking for the second time yesterday ever and just like being on the water and like I don't know it just it opens up your mind I feel like and it gets you away from all the hustle and bustle and the craziness in your mind going on it like takes that away and makes you think of other things or even if it's if you don't live near a place where you can go hiking or kayaking or anything like that um, right now I'm just I'm outside in my yard and I'm just sitting here and just being outside by myself I mean, it's my dog obviously but being outside by myself and just sitting here is just like relaxing also it's just I just think that everybody needs to get outside or do something to you know whether it's just going to the beach it doesn't have to be you know something where you're hiking or like something physical if it's just sitting or like going to the beach and sitting on the sand or just like I said do something outside I promise you it will help tip number five is that you are not alone and you need to you need to know this you're not alone and you aren't you have no reason to feel embarrassed or um, feel ashamed of who you are. I was too embarrassed and scared and nervous to talk about how I was feeling. I felt like I was crazy. I felt like people thought I was gonna be doing it for attention. I thought that no one would understand me, and I was embarrassed. It's a, it's sometimes it's embarrassing to be like I'm just I'm just sad and I don't know why. And some people don't understand that, but you're not alone. And talking to other people about it and talking or like I said writing it down reaching out social media is an amazing thing these days because you can reach out and be part of um, you know chats or groups with people you don't know um, that like will judge you or you can talk to somebody and they don't know you per personally um, so there's all kinds of stuff on Facebook on there's so many different groups I mean YouTube there's so many different YouTube channels there's so many different things for an outlet for you to discuss your feelings if you do not want to discuss them with someone um, that you know but I promise you that you're not alone and it's okay to feel this way you're there's nothing to be embarrassed by and you need to admit that you need to talk about that you need to admit that it's okay it's okay to not be okay and it's okay to struggle it's okay to be anxious or depressed it's okay to not want to do everything 24 7 or it's okay to not want to get the coach some days and just take time for yourself and it's okay it is okay to not be okay it's okay to struggle like I said and it's okay to go through ups and downs in life and I just I want to be, I want to do something more to help people with this because um, it, it, it can be a scary thing and especially if you have no outlets or you don't know in that moment that that is the reason or why you're feeling the way you're feeling. Um, so anyways, those are my top five tips. Um, I hope that it, this helps somebody. I wanted to also share that that's why I haven't been around a lot. I've just been kind of in a rut. Um, planning a wedding and um, family stuff and friends stuff and um, a lot on my mind and I'm torn between so many different things and sometimes it gets really stressful you have to remember that you need to do the right thing for yourself and sometimes you do a hard thing and it's sad and you cry and later on you feel relief you feel like okay I stuck up for myself and I did the right thing and now it's it's been a huge weight lift off your shoulder so um been around for me for a while but i want to get back into my youtube channel i'll let you know that 
it's okay, you're gonna be okay. And if you do not know what it's like to have depression or anxiety, and you can see somebody going through the symptoms or acting like it, um, be there for them and maybe reach out to them first um, because sometimes it's way too scary to talk about. So reach out to them first and say, hey, it seems like you're having a hard time right now. I honestly am here for you no matter what, no matter, oh my God, my dad was staring at me it scared me. Um, but reach out to them and um, tell them that you're there for them and that no matter what, no matter how they're feeling, if they're embarrassed or scared, that you're there because that could be the difference between somebody, you know, getting help or figuring out what's going on and you could be that person for somebody. So, um, if you want me to do um, a video on tips or symptoms or how you know if you're depressed or anxious, let me know because I will for sure make that. Um, I feel like that'd be maybe a good video for um, everybody, like whether you do have it. Thanks for watching if you're watching and um, for those of you who support me and watch it, I just want you to let you know how much it honestly means to me. Um, <sighs> It just feels good to actually just sit down and even talk about this because I've just been in such a bad place lately. So thank you for watching and um, if you like this shirt actually, um, it's from Wear Your Label, it's a company. So I don't, I'm not sponsored or anything, but they're an amazing company for mental illness. So if this is something you like, you can go on their website. Come here. Me and Willie say goodbye, goodbye. And thanks for watching. Bye. Will also subscribe and like it, this video if you like it. Or comment below if you have any videos ideas.